you to a bit better next in protein mochi nicho sosiga and other with hamas Uh, as a night is 
the past three activity for the green uh, movement of uh, carbon three. Instead of using the traditional A92 fuel, 
We are moving toward more environmentally friendly fuels, which are E5, E10, and E20. In order to manufacture those fuels, we fermentate biomass to get ethanol. Then, mix it with traditional gasoline. As a result, the combustion of ethanol will release less CO2 into the air. For bigger vehicles, we will employ E10 and E20 fuels, which contain more ethanol, thus release even less CO2. However, because the fossil fuel reserves to make A92 are going to be depleted, we aim to popularize electric vehicles to replace traditional vehicles. Right now, our vision is covering Earth with 70% green vehicles within the next few decades. Even with all this, we know we should be doing more since we shouldn't have caused this mess in the first place. Please know that we care for you and we will strive to correct our failures with gratitude and love and on behalf of humans everywhere. Purity. Can you remember the meanings of these words? Clutter. Carbon dioxide emissions. Soot. Asthma. Bronchitis. Initiative. Replenish. So I think this is how we will uh, explain to us how to uh, set our goals. Ocean, ocean, uh, decrease, uh, 
according to uh, ob observation in a uh, recent decade, during the 20th uh, century, the, the uh, ever, ever again, temperature of the air near the ground in a pretty by uh, 0.2 to uh, 0.6 uh, degree. Uh, according to a report by the Envi Environmental Protection Agency, the average temperature of the Earth at the end of 19th century increased by uh, 0.8 degree and uh, in the 20th century by uh, 0.2 to 0.6 degree. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Climate model in the project indicate that the Earth, the Earth, survey uh, temperature could rise 1.1 to uh, 6.4 degree during the 21st century. The government, the intergovernmental panel on the climate change studies the increase the concentration of greenhouse gas produced by human activity, uh, burning uh, fossil, fossil fuel and uh, deforestation that cause the earth temperature to rise significantly from the middle of the 20th century. The IPCC also studies the var variation of natural phenomena Chase solar and water uh, volcanic radiation, which caused most warming from uh, pre industrial to uh, 1950 and has a cold light -like effect. Later, the basic conclusion has been corroborated by more than 2.5 significant situation and academic. The situation, including all academic or uh, learning in uh, industrial country, and uh, there's a uh, without talk about this problem. Here's the Earth's climate is fluctuating, cycling from ice ages to warmer periods. But in the last century, the planet's temperature has risen unusually fast, about 1.2 to 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists believe it's human activity that's driving the temperatures up, a process known as global warming. Ever since the Industrial Revolution began, factories, power plants, and eventually cars have burned fossil fuels such as oil and coal, releasing huge amounts of carbon dioxide and other gases into the atmosphere. These greenhouse gases trap heat near the Earth through a naturally occurring process called the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect begins with the sun and the energy it radiates to the Earth. The Earth and the atmosphere absorb some of this energy, while the rest is radiated back into space. Naturally occurring gases in the atmosphere trap some of this energy and reflect it back, warming the Earth. Scientists now believe that the greenhouse effect is being intensified by the extra greenhouse gases that humans have released. Evidence for global warming includes a recent string of very warm years. Scientists report that 1998 was the warmest year in measured history, with 2005 coming in second. Meanwhile, readings taken from ice cores show that the greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, and methane have hit their highest levels in the past 420,000 years. Arctic sea ice is also shrinking. According to NASA studies, the extent of Arctic sea ice has declined about 10% in the last 30 years. As long as industrialized nations consume energy, and developing countries increase their fossil fuel consumption, the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere will continue to rise. Researchers predict that temperatures will increase about 2 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit by the end of the century. What's less certain is what rising temperatures mean for the planet. Some climate models predict subtle changes. 
Others forecast rising sea levels, which could flood coastal areas around the world. Weather patterns could change, making hurricanes more frequent. Severe droughts could become more common in warm areas, and species unable to adapt to the changing conditions would face extinction. Although much remains to be learned about global warming, many organizations advocate cutting greenhouse gas emissions to reduce the impact of global warming. Consumers can help by saving energy around the house, switching to compact fluorescent light bulbs, and driving fewer miles in a car each week. These simple changes may help keep the earth cooler in the future.
Thank you. 